Hi. Hi. Croissant, hot from the oven. I couldn't eat a thing. Hey, you'll eat these. I traipsed all the way to that Continental Bakery in Victoria Street for them. I hope you've not fetched no hidden agenda along with your buns, madam. I am here because the bride should not be on her own on a wedding day. Right, kettle on. Anything else, bossy knickers? <laughs> I don't know, love. Go and get the cornflakes. Come on, you know, Mrs. Bowen. What about her? You said she's a bride. Yeah, she's getting married today. And the milk. But she's going to be a bridesmaid. Oh, I don't think so, sweetheart. Ah, that's not fair. I've never been one. Oh, quiet pest. Why am I here? You fell asleep last night. I didn't want to wake you. I'm sleeping downstairs tonight. Oh, no, you're not. Go and get washed. Breakfast's nearly ready. Well, what? Where's Martin? Zonked. Got in half an hour ago. Sausage and beans, all right? Yeah, go on, then. There's a spare toothbrush up there. Oh, no. Did he wake you? No, that's all right. Not dropped off yet. Right, Nick. Right, well, you best get going now. What about your breakfast? Well, you see, I've got to get some footy gear ready. Well, that's all right, mate. You stay here. I'm going back to Kip in a bit. Oh, well, see you. Bye. Do you know, what is it? Have I grown horns or something? You knew he was down here, Martin. You could have stayed upstairs and... Oh, yeah? What, going to hiding in my own house? What, the nutter up in the attic? <laughs> Do you know, it's a sorry state of affairs in here, really. Did you sleep? No. I had daft things going through me head, like I must cut my toenails, and <laughs> why have I never had a white wedding? <laughs> That's all I need, more bags under my eyes. What did you wear the first time? Oh, some horrible beige suit I got for work. It was all very quick. Oh, why the rush? Oh, don't worry, I wasn't up the... Uh... Mm, I was. <laughs> Actually, I was on the rebound from someone else. Oh, so you knew you were taking a gamble then? All added to the thrill. Up until then, the only risk I'd ever took was on the Blackpool Big Dipper. What was he like? Ray. Mm. Oh. Unpredictable. A bit dangerous. So was Billy Walker when I come to think of it. Exciting, though. Yeah, not something to build a life on, though. With Ken, it was different. There was... no... edge. I just felt warm and safe. Oh, shut up, woman, that's history. And Sam here? Oh, well, that's what's so wonderful about it. He just makes me feel young again and alive, as if anything was possible, but cherished as well. <laughs> Go on, say it, yuck. No, it sounds wonderful. Even though you don't think it'll last? Deirdre, this isn't the no, time. No, no, you're entitled to your opinion, Liz. At least you've always been honest about it, same as Emily. Well, she did go a bit over the top. Liz, you are here supporting me in my hour of need. Now, that is what I call a true friend. Aren't you uh, even a bit apprehensive? I'll tell you what does scare me. That I won't make him happy. What about him making you happy? Oh, he does. No, it, it's me. I've always made such a muck of things. Couldn't bear it if this went down the same road. The mistakes weren't all yours. No, end result were the same though, weren't it? They all ran off and left me for other women. What does that say about me, eh? It's hardly the best way to start a new life, though, is it? No new frock. No reception, no honeymoon. And everybody thinking you're potty to boot. I don't think she's potty. Don't you? No. Who am I to say what'll work and what won't with my track record? Oh, oh my. Are you wishing it was you wafting down the aisle today, Petal? Oh, I'm not jealous. I'm pleased for him. Well, it'll be my turn one day. I refuse to let what happened with him turn me better. You do right. How do you fancy a trip to shops when you've done all that? 
You're all right with need um, two bags, scouring pads and, uh, ooh, anything else? About six dozen finger rolls, two pounds of cooked ham, some roast chicken, cheese, tomatoes and a wedding cake. Oh, bad. Well, we can't let them go off on the tod after saying I do, can we? Call it rehearsal for yours. Hello. Hello, mate. You're going to the shindig this afternoon, I take it. So the wife says, all right. <laughs> Come on, don't be like that. Oh, I've had enough earache about this romance to last me a lifetime, I'll tell you. Why can't women mind their own business sometimes? Oh, my God. Psychological impossibility, that, mate. Uh, Listen, uh, how are you planning on getting there? Why? I've got a proposition to put uh, oh. Come on, I promise you, you're going to like this one. Hi. Um, before you lunge at me circular with Anne, I'm sorry. I'll tell you straight, sunshine. I came as close to finishing with you last night as it gets. It was seen that Miss Pillock, wasn't it? Bullock. And now we had nothing to do with this. You just came out for a chip. And that's another thing that I'm sick of. You and your flannel. Come on, V. God. You're starting to sound like me, Mum. Right. Fine. Shut the door on your way out. All right, all right. Listen, she... She's doing it up because I'm sagging off my community service. She wants me to prove that I'm, like, some responsible, boring citizen or I've got to go back to flipping court. And then why? End up behind bars? Well, yes, it's a possibility. You great Wally. When are you going to grow up? Oh, excuse me, but the last time I had to duck out was when I had to pick you up from the flipping airport. Oh, and that was my fault, was it? Well, that time was, yeah. And what about all the other times, eh? All the other stunts you've pulled, gambling instead of working, Spending your money on flash cars and flats that you can't even afford. Hey, who's responsible for that? Because it certainly is not me. Now, this has to be a bit of a rush, but as it's you, they'll do it as a special favour. Guess what? I got it. I'll pick it up about four. The job. A super scoop. Oh. oh, no, Curly. I'm ever so pleased for me you. Me too. Well done. Uh, there's just one small problem. Oh, I do hope they spelt his name right. Is it one M or two? So what will you be wearing for the wedding? I'm not going. But you're her oldest friend. That's why. I'm sorry, Ken. No need to apologise to me. Well, I'd have to pretend something I don't feel. I can't do that. But I thought you got on with Sammy. I've nothing against him as a person. But as Deirdre's husband? It's a recipe for disaster. A lot of people are saying that. Well, they've got no right to. Why can't they just be pleased for her? I know I am. Oh, you're going to look like his flaming granny. Yes? May I come in? Depends what you want to come in for. To wish you well. Is that all? That's all. You're the last person I expected to see. Well, first off, I never should have said what I did about you marrying Samir out of... Peak, uh, because of you and Denise. No, you shouldn't have. It was flaming arrogant and it was untrue. I realise that. I'm sorry. Hey, Ken. How many times have we said that silly little word to each other over the years? Yeah, you're right. Too many. Which is why I didn't want to let today go by without, um... Well, without saying, I hope it works out for you. Very diplomatically put. I mean it. Even though you think the odds are against it? You can blow up if the odds are in favour. As we're here to testify, eh? If anybody deserves happiness, you do. Thanks, Ken. That means a lot. I just wish Tracy could be as tolerant. You've not heard from her? No, I sent her an invitation. She's not bothered to reply. Well, perhaps she'll just turn up, you know, how lackadaisical she is. I doubt it. She's just as disapproving as the rest of the doubting Thomases around here. But isn't it possible that you could all be wrong? I'm entitled to a life, aren't I? Why can't 
Tracy and Emily and the rest of them just forget the lousy prejudices for a day and wish me luck. If you can do it, why can't they? Right. Where's Alma? Gone to get herself tarted up for Deirdre's do. Well, I'm glad we're not invited. Huh? Gone off weddings, have you? Oh, come on, love, let's not fight, eh? Well, I'm just here to find out what all that was about this morning. He'd come home, Martin. No, he'd not come home. He fell asleep on the sofa, that's all. We had a wonderful evening. It was like we were a family. Yeah, then. till I put the mockers no, up. No, I didn't say that. Well, you might as well. <laughs> you know, it's funny. He's the one that lives over the road, and I'm the one that feels more and more like an intruder. <sighs> Martin! Oh, my man, didn't I? Is it that's so urgent, then? Um, uh, two cheese, please, girl, and, uh... Oh, cheese bath will do. Yeah, and two cheese baths. Hello, oh, love. Um, about this afternoon, I think you should go. No way. I understand how you feel. She's off a trolley. What, because she's marrying someone we don't happen to approve of? He's a jerk. They both are. Well, your mum and I didn't need much of Craig when you went off with him, but you said you had the right to make your own choice. Doesn't she have that same right? Maybe. But that doesn't mean I have to go there and chuck confetti. Look, one of these days you'll get married yourself. Forget that up. Oh, yeah, yeah, I've had a brother daft enough to ask. <laughs> but when you do, wouldn't it break your heart if your mum wasn't there? Please go there. For your sake as well as hers. It's not St Paul's Flipping Cathedral, you know. If a bride can't be pampered on a wedding day, when can she? Aww. They're just local. Oh, well, don't poke my eyeballs out. Oh, I'll get that. See, Bert said, make her look like Al McPherson, or you're fired. <laughs> well, in that case, love you down at the job Hi, centre tomorrow Hi. morning. How are we doing? <laughs> oh, smashing. Come Hi, on, Hi, Rita. Oh, love. Listen, uh, oh. Ted bought me this in Bond Street. I've never had it on my head. If it's any use to you, it's yours. Oh, oh I'll do it. You're smudgy oh. nails. Oh. Oh. oh, Rita, it's perfect. I was going to wear this. One of the girls at work lent it to me. Oh, no, it looks like one of Maud Grimes's cast. <laughs> <laughs> now, will this go with your outfit? Well, it's hardly Bond Street. It's more Bury Market. I've had it young. Ah, but new underwear, peach satin with lace. As <laughs> skint I might be, but I am not going to my own wedding with a safety pin in my knicker elastic. <laughs> oh, now, look. Oh. oh. <laughs> From your bridegroom, with all my love forever. Oh. I thought it might be Tracy. What time she come then? <clears throat> Tracy. Ain't you been your bridesmaid? No. It's all right, love. My daughter's avoiding me. She thinks her mother's flipped her lid. Now then, which of my handmaidens is going to put the kettle on? I think I could get used to this pampering <laughs> lark. <laughs> well, that's a nice dress. That colour really suits you. Is it new? Of course, you do realise they'll all be laughing at you. Who will? All oh, them other mares. When there's a big civic do and they all roll up in their limos and we trundle off a corporation bus. Give it a rest, Audrey. Typical Weatherfield, they'll say. No dignity, no class. Oh, and the mares canoodling with the chauffeur. That's dignified, is it? That's classy, is it? We're having a bit of a thrash later for the happy couple. Will you be joining us? I very much doubt it. Me neither. That seems a shame. Well, we're not hypocrites like some of them, wishing them well to their face and prophesying doom behind their backs. Suit yourselves. You do right, Mrs. Bishop. Stick by your principles. I mean, he's only a lad. He ain't got a drop of British blood inside him. I don't know what she's thinking about. I'd rather not discuss it, Mr. Subden. Morning, right, sir. Hi, Rosie. Hi. Hi. Bridal cars here. Oh, right. Oh, Hi, girls. Hi, girls. Oh, 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 oh
be petticoat show. No, no, it's not. <laughs> no lipstick on your teeth and no ladders in your oh, tights. No. Right. And you're not really oh, nothing. Yeah. Yeah. You do, yeah. honestly. Well, hey, Raquel hasn't gone a bit mad with the blusher, has yeah. she? Oh, <laughs> gorgeous. <laughs> hey, what's this? Ooh. Oh, no, this is the bridal cord, Deirdre, courtesy oh. of Michael Vernon Baldwin. I oh. thought Don was doing it. Well, he was going to, but Michael squirted away. He reckons the bride should travel in style. Oh. <laughs> Not just brides. Come on, I'll drive. I'll drive. Oh. Oh. You certainly kept that quiet, didn't you? Yeah, well, I know how to keep my trap shut, unlike some I could mention. Comfy. Do you know it? Oh, wasn't that sweet to Mr. Barclay? Mr. Honeybunch himself. <laughs> God help her when the novelty wears off. Relax. She'll be here. Suppose she change her mind. She won't. If anyone should change their mind, my friend, it is you. Oh, you look beautiful. Oh, do I? The tip is Rita's. Rita. <laughs> You've got a lot to Hello. learn. Hello. And I'm tickled pink with these. Rose for my English rose. You daft air, but... <laughs> Oh, Mike, thanks for the car, by the way. My pleasure, sweetheart. What car? The Barlow Rashid party. Can I have the bride and groom for a moment, please? Why, what's wrong? Nothing, just a few formalities before we begin. What car? Oh, what did that tell you, Mr. 20 miles an hour? Oh, sure. He's yeah, the one who pays for it and do without a chauffeur. Hey, hey. Oh. 20 minutes, yeah? Just give me a call. Uh, God, I'm knackered. Oh, it's hard work with Dean Lager accounts. Ginger Mutt more like, got it look like cat's pee. Tasted like it, I know. Mind you, she did fetch out the Jaffa cakes, you know. Who did? They sold dear. I spent half the afternoon trying to cook down the jungle. Wouldn't be surprised if a gorilla would have jumped out. And what do you want, eh? Pass on the head. Ooh, or anywhere else that takes your fancy sweet turn. I call upon these persons here present. I call upon this person here present. To witness that I, Samir Rashid. To witness that I, Samir Rashid. Do take thee, Deirdre and Barlow to be my lawful wedded wife. Do take the Deirdre and Barlow to be my lawful wedded wife. And now, Deirdre. <clears throat> I call upon these persons here present. I call upon these persons here present. To witness that I, Deirdre and Barlow. To witness that I, Deirdre and Barlow. Do take thee, Samir Rashid, to be my lawful wedded husband. Do take thee, Samir Rashid, to be my lawful wedded husband. And Deirdre and Samir, having consented to be joined in matrimony, and having witnessed the same before this company, it is now my pleasure to pronounce you husband and wife. I make it so no. Oh, you most certainly can. Now, before you all rush off, you're all invited back to the Rover's return to toast the health of the bride and the groom. Oh, oh, oh. A wedding present from me. Thanks. Thank you. And if this lad plays his cards right, Mike, and chuck in a few hand butters as well. Oh. Congratulations. Who's she? Oh, I'm so glad you came, love. It's okay. Look, we'll have an atta when we get back. It, it was nice of that. I mean, well, surely the shop can give you the afternoon off. I mean, it is a special occasion. You look nice. Thanks. Come and see Sammy. Eh? I'll see you. Later. Oh. 
Do you know, I could have hit that girl. You think she could have made the effort for her mum's sake? She's entitled to her own opinion, love. Besides, it's not that different from yours, you know. Yeah, well, at least I'm here. People can be so petty. Generous, my eye. You only did it rub Ken Barlow's nose in it. Why, do you think he'll be upset seeing his ex-wife drive past in a posh wedding car that happens to belong to me? Oh, dear. Didn't think of that. Mm. So, what do you think of my bride now? When I offer to make food for your celebration, she says no. She's only happy with her own kind. And you are not her kind. You are wrong, my friend. You will see. Nobody's going on no buses. So I said that to wind you up after all the aggro he gave me. We've got a perfectly good vehicle of our own. Well, you'll have to miss out on all that claret that you suck at your fancy banquet then, because I'm certainly not stopping on the wagon to drive you home. Oh. How are you feeling? Oh, a bit weepy. I was lonely before, Liz. So bloody lonely. And now I'm not. That's all. I know, I know. So, how is Mrs. Rashid? <laughs> Mrs. Rashid, eh? I'm going to have to get used to that, aren't I? We have a lifetime. Hey, I'm not dreaming all this, am I? I mean, I didn't just fall asleep with a holiday brochure in my hand. No dream, Mrs. Rashid. I am for real. This ring is for real. This uh, funny little teeth is for real. <laughs> you know, most folk bring the don't stand a snowball's chance in hell. So I gather. How about you? Right now, I'd swap with her and let tomorrow take care of itself. Me too, Cobb. Me too. You just have to take taxes everywhere. Only if and when. I did this as a cost-cutting exercise. Oh, an exercise in spite, more right. If you could just vouch for him, just say it's a legitimate business that he's running. Lizzie, after what that young pup said about me, you don't seriously think I'm going to help him, do you? I should have known better. And it's Liz. Well, to Mr. Pooper Scooper. Uh, no, no, it's Super Scooper. Oh. And about that, they're having a bit of a staff do next week. Oh, well, that's good. You'll be able to meet everybody in one go. Yeah. Well, you know, I told them I was engaged. Yeah. <laughs> Well, they want me to bring my fiance. Yeah, but you haven't got a... Oh, no. No, you can forget that, Curly. Problem, look. Well, he needs a fiance to take to his new firm staff. Do I've told him? It's not going to be me. It's only for one night. No, you can get lost, Curly. Oh, I knew you'd say that. It'd be a good do. Go on, then. You talk me into it. You? I'll pose as anybody's fiance for a free sausage roll makeup. Central were down a blind alley with the bill.